Hello everyone, this is Brianna Rutter, author of one of my most popular books, The Natural Hair Bible, and founder of HowToBlackHair.com. For these videos, I answer the questions that you all send me via email. So if any of you have any questions you would like for me to answer, be sure to check out the description box below for additional information. This video is because of an email I received from Enoli, and she goes on to say that she constantly has to straighten her leave out to blend with her extensions. The issue is she would rather much just have a curly weave instead, but she doesn't know how to blend her hair without using too much heat. So I'm gonna give you some advice, some tips, some tricks, a whole lot of things to help you to do what's best for your hair and to give you the look that you actually want. So just to be sure when you are using heat, you gotta make sure that you're protecting your hair by um, first prepping your hair with a deep conditioning treatment or a protein treatment. And then you also have to make sure that you're using some form of heat protectant on your hair. Now if you stay within that safe temperature range between 300 to 350 degrees, you can use an oil to actually serve as your natural heat protectant if you want, such as argan oil, grapeseed oil, and, and sometimes olive oil depending on your hair. Now if you're going to be going with heat higher than 350, which I don't suggest for most, for most cases, but if you do, you have to use a more of a stronger type of heat protectant that's going to be filled with polymers and silicones and things like that. So now my second tip is that it's time for you to start wearing some curly weaves. How are you going to keep blending your straight hair or straightening your hair with your straight weaves when that's really not the look that you want? So you got to opt for extensions that's going to actually mimic the curl pattern of your hair. So a great way to do that is to visit your local beauty supply store, check out the selections of hair extensions that are there to see what matches best with yours, and also look online for some things that you think would um, give you what's best for your specific texture and curl type. Now, my last tip is that um, you can also work with any weave that's available to you or any extensions that you can um, purchase given the budget you have and also your options as far as what you actually can buy. Now, try to get as close to a curl as possible if you can. If you can only buy some wavy extensions, that's a lot better than applying that much heat to your hair. And in order to mimic um, your choice of extensions with your hair, a safer route, you can use some actual perm rods or flexi rods and things like that to help you to get a certain curl pattern. Now the wider that you um, go up towards the size of your barrel of your um, perm rods and things like that will actually enable you to have more of a wave effect to your hair if you comb out that perm rod set. So say for instance you use I want to say three to five inch in diameter perm rod set. Depending on your hair and um, how well your hair is set with those perm rods, when you unravel them and comb them through or brush them through with a wig brush very softly, you will actually see your waves start to form. So just go ahead and experiment with all those alternatives to see what's best for you. And um, I want to thank you for your email and I also want to thank everyone for watching. I know a lot of you will go away with a lot of tips and things because you don't always have to put heat on your hair every day to preserve it straight look. You can um, use the largest barrel or the largest cir circumference of a perm rod to set your leave out at night and then unravel them and smooth out your hair so that way you don't have to use heat too often. So thanks for your email. Oh and also before any of you go make sure to sign up for my email list so that way you can be entered for giveaways that I do and only there I update you with exclusive content. So until then I will see all of you in my very next video.